Hey everybody, RC here. I wanted to talk to you about how to connect your Sony a7R 4 into Lightroom Classic. After hours of running into a wall here, I went to my friend Katrina Eisman, who turned me onto a piece of software from the folks at Tether Tools. So thank you, Katrine. I owe you everything for this. Let's talk about the process here. The process is when you're in Lightroom and you want to be able to do a Tether shoot, you would go into File, Tether Capture, Start Tether Capture. Inside of here, you go through this entire window it's trying to detect the camera, detect the camera, detect the camera, and it'll stay there forever. So that's not good. So I'm going to cancel that. That's not going to work. So let's go ahead and minimize that. And what you need is this right here. If you go to tethertools.com and you go to software, they have this thing called Smart Shooter, right? Download that. And that includes the plugin for Smart Shooter for Lightroom Classic, which is a stable way of controlling Nikon and Sony cameras, which I think is pretty cool, right? And in of itself, it has a whole bunch of stuff that you can use that I think are gonna be great. I'll go ahead and I'll do some sort of video for that later on. But you download this piece of software, you install it, right? They have a trial that you can use for this. And then once you have that set, I'm just gonna go into my applications and inside of the applications, I'll go to Smart Shooter, double click on that to start it. I'll go ahead and I'll continue the trial here. And we'll talk about all of these later, right? Not a problem there. But what I wanna do is I wanna go into the preferences. And inside of the preferences, you'll see that all the way in the right-hand side, there's a section called Lightroom. And then click on that. And I wanna enable Lightroom tethering, and I wanna allow the plugin to shut down the application. And I'm going to install the plugin. It's been installed into Lightroom. Please restart Lightroom for this to take effect. Okay, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna quit Lightroom Classic. Not bad. I'm gonna apply this. I'm gonna hit OK. And I'm just gonna close this out. Now let's go back into Lightroom Classic and turn that on. We'll go ahead and we'll open the catalog that I'm working with. I created a blank catalog just so that you guys don't have to see all the junk that I have on my stuff, on my photography collection. But once we're inside of here, I'm just gonna to go to File and then I'm gonna go into Plugin Manager. And inside of the plugin manager, you'll see that now you have Smart Shooter installed and running, which looks good. Click this. Then I'm going to go from inside of here. I'm going to go to File, Tether Capture, and I'm going to start to Tether Capture for a quick review. The destination is usually the first thing that I fill in, right? Where do I want to save this? And for me, I'm just going to put it right now on the desktop. And then Studio Session is the name of the session that we're working with. So in this case, I could say, uh, I love Katrin. Right. You can call it whatever it is that you want, but you'll notice that that right there shows the names. So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to say sample underscore studio. This is the name of the folder that's going to be constructed here. Right. So from inside of here, that's the folder that's going to appear in the desktop. And right now it's using the session name in the sequence. More often than not, what I usually recommend is that you create your own sequence here rather than using the sample template that's here. Right, I like having my dates and then I like having a four digit sequence. So inside of here, you could go to edit. You can delete all of these things here. And then what I would do is I would just put a date, right? Month, day, year, insert, then dash. And then from here, a sequence number. Like I don't like one, two, three. I want zero, 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 one, zero, 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 two. So for that, I would use this one. Two seconds, I've already made this. Right? If I don't like the way this setup is, I could always just go here, year, month, date. So it changes it right here. Now, once I have this, I can save this so that I'm doing that over and over and over. I've already done that. That's my date and four digit sequence, but I'll save this as a new preset and I'm just going to call this Hey You. Right? Just so that you can see that it's different. See? Preset Hey You. I'll click that. So here, date and four digit sequence, it does what I want. Notice that mine has an underscore, right? If I were to go to the Hey You section here, it shows you that it saved that. Two seconds, just do it. It helps so much. So this is the name of the folder. This is the name of the file. Inside of here, make sure that you add all of your copyright data. I'll go ahead and I'll do a video if you need that. And I like keeping auto advance. I'm gonna leave that unchecked. Here goes nothing, all right? I'm gonna click okay. Now it's not detecting the camera, right? I'm just gonna continue the trial for now because I have the camera unplugged. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and look, success in no time at all. Okay, I hadn't really thought about taking a picture, but why not? Let's just go ahead and try to take a picture now. So I set it to 
Uh, let's see here. ISO of 1000. I've got 28, 30th of a second. I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick click. Let's see how fast it gets into that. And look, right? I have my camera set to shooting in monochrome, but because I'm using a raw file, as soon as it dumps the raw file that's inside of here, it's all set, right? At any point in time, I could just come right back inside of here. And if I need to be able to go, I could just go to the develop module, set it to black and white, and I'm off to the races. I gotta say, just even as a trial, try it, use it. I think it's really good. And it gives you that connectivity for Sony and Nikon cameras. Hope it helps.